A stabbing at a North Carolina high school on Monday left one student dead and another hospitalized, officials said the stabbing happened during a morning fight in the gym at Southeast Raleigh High School, news outlets reported. A juvenile suspect was in custody, but it wasn't clear if the youth attended the school, Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson said officials haven't released the name of the student who died. Another student remained in the hospital with injuries that weren't life-threatening, Patterson said schools should be a safe haven for students and staff, Wake County Superintendent Robert Taylor told news outlets during a during an afternoon news conference with Patterson. Victims, both victims were transported to an area hospital. Sadly, one victim succumbed to his injuries. The second victim remains hospitalized with non-life-threatening injuries. Both po police and school personnel secured the building and are working, and we are working very closely with Wake County public school officials to identify those directly involved in this altercation. One suspect is in custody at this time and we're happy to report that and there is no further threat to the school or to the community. This is a tragedy for everyone involved. In the days and weeks ahead, we will be supporting our students and staff as they process uh, the incident and work through their grief. Uh, the district's crisis team will be available to offer students as much support as possible. Professionals from the district's employee support and wellness program will also be on hand to support the staff. Uh, I want to share my condolences with the family and the loved ones of the victim. Uh, as a parent, I can't imagine getting that call. I just cannot imagine that. I offer my prayers for those affected. However, most importantly, I pledge my resolve. Schools should be a safe haven for our students and staff. What happened here today is unacceptable. 